can I even sit here? I thought this was a cool frame, but I don't even know if I can get in it. Just about. <laughs> Sigma's known for giving you this sort of contemporary tint to the actual lens. Like if you compare it to a G Master, let's say, that G Master is gonna be like the most natural, clear, flat sort of profile of the colors. It's more, more of a natural, crisp look. The Sigmas do give you a slight bit of that contemporary feel, unless you get the art lens, then it is literally just the same as the G Masters. But yeah, these contemporary ones are a little bit cheaper. They do give you a bit of that tint, but I rarely notice it. You have to really put them side by side and look closely to even notice it. And to be honest, we edit our photos anyway, so it doesn't matter because you can just change the colors. So it's really not that big a deal. So that rumor can just be thrown to the side. It's, it's irrelevant. So yeah, overall the 16 to 28 Sigma is an absolute amazing lens. And I'm not gonna, I'm not the sort of person to go, well, imagine if I unlocks the car. I'm not the sort of person to go through each individual pixel. You can watch a deeper review if you wanna see all the individual differences. But for me, I just like to talk about practicality and actually the use of the lens. 